looking much better into the afternoon as far as sunshine goes, but we're not doing all that well in the temperature department. We took a hit as that cold front came through, brought that overnight rain, but the sun is shining at Keeneland. As soon as we walk out to side and see that it's a, it's a welcome change, but unfortunately you're still not seeing it into our eastern Kentucky counties. Quite a bit of low cloud cover and even some uh, showers still hanging in the mountains. There's the very tail end of the rain as it's exited. Uh, far eastern Kentucky. So yeah, the sun will catch up with you guys. It's going to take a little longer. There goes the rain off towards uh, Beckley into West Virginia there. Rainfall amounts varied anywhere from a quarter to half an inch in the bluegrass. Some folks approached an inch. Look at that eight tenths of an inch out in Jackson over an inch, almost an inch and a half in Whitley City. So pretty good soaking overnight for some of our southeastern viewers. Highs are going to struggle. I'm sure you've noticed how much cooler it is out there. Uh, we're only going to be in the upper 50s, mid to upper 50s in the bluegrass today around 60 uh, into our southwestern counties. And then tonight with clear skies, pretty good chance to get down into the mid 30s. So a good chance for widespread frost formation uh, with that northwesterly wind continuing to pull that colder air in here. Uh, that's the setup for tomorrow. Now by Thursday morning, we could dip into the upper 30s again, but this cloud cover that you see moving in, I think will help blunt any chance for frost formation beyond a little patchy stuff, maybe in some of our southwestern counties. And yeah, isolated showers Thursday. We're in the low 50s now, so we have cooled down significantly. Look at this. This is the 24 hour temperature change map. We're anywhere from 20 to 30 degrees colder, over 30 degrees colder in Pikeville now than we were at this point 24 hours ago. That's how much the temperature has crashed as that cold front went through and this approaching ridge of high pressure keeps that northwesterly flow and that colder air filtering in. So we went from one, uh, you know, well above normal setup to back below normal. It'd be nice to get a little bit of moderation, which I think we will see as we head into the upcoming weekend. But for now, the big chill is on. High temperatures struggling. Our normal high 71. We're going to be in the upper 50s to low 60s in the next couple of days. And then you see that gradual upward trend heading into the weekend. But yes, it is sufficiently cold enough tomorrow morning with those clear skies that I talked about. That we have a frost advisory in effect. It's for all the counties lit up in blue, even if you're not in on it. Watch out low lying locations and around Monticello may get down in the mid 30s, even close to freezing. We could have some outlying areas uh, close to freezing tomorrow morning. So we have a frost advisory in effect. If you're a, a backyard gardener, you've got early season plants started. Uh, be aware of that freeze warning has been discontinued, uh, but it does continue up around Chicago and that frost advisory is in effect here. So the morning clouds given way to afternoon sun. That'll be the trend into our eastern counties that have yet to see that sunshine. So it's coming for you. Upper 50s today and uh, much, much cooler setup. The frost advisory in effect tonight that goes through 9 a.m. Clear and colder overnight lows down in the mid 30s. And then a number of takeaways in the eight day forecasts. Uh, number one, that low end chance for some showers. You're going to have a cold front trying to drop in here around Thursday, Friday. So we'll keep a little bit of uh, precipitation chance in there, but it does start to steadily rise. We'll have more active weather. Showers, thunder showers on the rise over the weekend, but the temperature will be as well. So we'll get up to around our average high, some low 70s, and then maybe even exceed it toward the middle of the week. A nice warm bubble getting going. The problem is by the middle of next week, that's right before Derby weekend. And the big question mark there is whether or not we'll be able to hang on to that warmth.